Hey everyone, this is Mary Ellen. Coming to you from Moonrise Cottage, if I can get my computer set up. There we go. Um, welcome back. I love being here with you. I'm here to stream messages from my spirit guides. If you're new, uh, my spirit guides are really um, acknowledging all the new folks who are stumbling across the channel. They're saying because it's time. So welcome. Thank you. I love your messages. I've been getting a lot of messages and comments, and I want you to know I read all of them. Because of my schedule, I don't always have time to respond right away, but I want you to know that I love them. So, um, we are, okay, wow, Spirit wants that. You know what? Hmm. Yep, I'm going to take that. And uh, Spirit says, call it a day. Take this card. So, I'm going to reiterate the next piece of a message. I did a video a couple days ago about uh, a weasel. And Spirit's been talking about people who need healing in all kinds of ways. The focus was narcissism, things like that. So that message, somehow that video disappeared. I don't know, literally don't know. I, I have no message from YouTube that it was deemed inappropriate, but it has been deleted from the channel. It probably means I did it. <laughs> In a moment of, you know, didn't realize what I was doing. I don't, I don't know. So I thought about it long and hard. My spirit guide said, yep, we want you to keep going. So um, today we see a continuation of this message, and I love it. And I left the room. The room for joy came out at the end of that reading. And here we see Wild Woman. Oh, my gosh. Fantastical. So let's... You know, spirit sign, dragonfly, and weasel, in the context of this discussion, pretty self-explanatory. But I do want to check in the book about wild woman. Also, I have all kinds of assumptions about what that means. But spirit wants me to read it a little bit or just reference the book. So the essence of wild woman is that she dances into your reading, reminding you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you're meant to become. She's a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present to life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly, regardless of the perceived consequences. So, obviously, and within the bounds of, um, Spirit says, normalcy, um, we're talking about personal safety. Yes, you have to attend to that. So, let's put these up here. And I'm going to pull from, we're going to do a reading from the Rider Waite. This, these cards are about the energy of the day and what my spirit guides want to speak about and what they want you to know about. So, you know, part of the message is there are times when we all need healing. There are times when we have to go underground like a weasel and we have to be self-protective. When we are wounded and it creates that type of behavior, then it does mean that at some point if we want to be whole and we want to be happy and we want to love properly spirit saying then you have to go through a transformation and a healing so that's what my guides are talking about and you know we all have societal norms that we're living uh under the weight of spirit saying so in 2019 it's time to free yourself now i don't care what people expect from you spirit saying I really don't care. That's what they're talking about. Like, you, you've got to free yourself to be who you are. All right, Spirit. So from the right of weight. Okay, they want that room for joy right there. Be the wild woman in your life, whether you're a man or woman. Let yourself be who you are. It's the only way to stand inside the circle of your own existence and look outward from there and know what's correct for you, what's right, to follow your path, to follow your heart within your love relationships. Always, you have to be who you are. Stand in the center of your own life. Be a little bit on the wild side in terms of not being controlled. Uh, you know, some of the overlay spirit saying of society. So, spirit, a continuation of this message about weasel and about healing. There was a lot of love that was coming through that message. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Spirit. I'm just going to pull the cards out. Spirit, tell me just get the cards out, and then we'll go through the reading. So here's some more. All right, let's see. 
you know what? Hmm. Not sure what, you know what, Spirit? I'm asking for, uh, I'm going to keep shuffling. Because I was, jeez. Oh, <laughs> they're not going to leave. They're not, they're, they're not going to, they're not, they're just not going to comply. All right, let's see. So what I was about to say was I'm holding the deck upside down. So everything that comes out is going to be upside down. So I'm going to take the liberty to just put the cards down. There we go. Transformation in order to get happy family. And still there's some work to be done on the temple, right? Okay. So we're in a process of healing and uh, coming into this dragonfly energy. Spirit, is there any more message since this all jumped out? Yeah, look, that one. Okay. We got it. Thank you, Spirit. And look, it's upside down. I love it. Okay, let's put it. All right. Let me, let me just ask my guides. Where do you want this? I think it goes here. I think. Okay. So they're asking me to... Um, Talk with you about dragonfly essence. So in the place where I live, dragonfly, uh, they live in the meadow. They're water creatures, and they are actually, they are predators, and they're vicious. Uh, people don't realize, they don't sting, they don't bite us, but they don't mess around either. So we're talking about a creature that lives in the element of water. So we're talking about love energy, of course, and we see it here. So dragonfly medicine is of the dream time and the illusory facade that we accept as a physical reality. Perfect. Thank you, Spirit. The iridescence of dragonfly wings reminds us of the colors not found in our everyday experience. Some legends say the dragonfly was once a dragon and that the dragon had scales like the dragonfly's wings. Dragon was full of wisdom and th flew through the night bringing light with its fiery breath. The breath of the dragon brought forth the art of magic and the illusion of changing form. Then dragon got caught in its own facade and coyote tricked dragon into changing forms and the shape of its new body became like the dragonfly. In accepting the challenge to prove its power and magical prowess, dragon lost its power. Dragonfly is the essence of the winds of change, the message of wisdom and enlightenment, and the communications from the elemental world. If dragonfly has flown into your cards, you may have forgotten to water your plants. On another level, you may need to give thanks. On the physiological level, it may be time to break down the illusions that you have held that restrict your own actions and ideas. All right, so these readings always go on uh, quite a ways. So here's, let, let's take a look. We're talking about what happens when weasel begins to transform and the enormity of the transformation and the fact that it does cause you to be willing and able to step outside the identifiers that you've been given. If you are wounded and you've been behaving unscrupulously or emotionally reckless or emotionally protective and you know you want to stop and you want to turn the tide, the people around you may not believe you, may not accept that from you yet. You know, this channel is here for everybody. And I know the process of self-change. Uh, someday maybe I'll tell you my own story. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, it takes time to move from one state into another. And at the core of that, the essence spirit saying is the desire to come out into the light, to shift your energy, to shift your form. And by so doing, to um, capture the magic of standing in the wild woman form to just dance to your own music and do what you need to do. So we have this notion of the Page of Pentacles, a new beginning, an offer that perhaps you're making or something you are asking for, trust, faith, belief, assistance, as you come to clarity because you seem to understand that you're not there yet. And it's a wild and crazy act to stand and look at your own dysfunction, isn't it? and understand where you're standing at a beginning point. And you might be feeling a little wild and crazy. Full moon is coming in Libra. Love this. I think I was talking about this uh, just the other day. Maybe it was that reading that disappeared. So we see 
the secret's climbing up out of the ocean. And the dogs, the wolves, spirits are howling at the moon. So we got this full moon in Libra, super moon. It is a moment when magic can begin to happen and you can begin to come out of the tunnels in which you've been hiding to look forward, to wait for your ship of happiness to come in. And, you know, the thing I love about this is that, okay, Spirit's saying that that's the king. Uh, it's really not <laughs> in Tarot, but we are talking about somebody who looks forward and he's holding the three, the wands, the sacred number, and there is new growth sprouting. So we're looking at somebody who has an intention. And because they have an intention, it is moving their manifestation powers. And there is something that's going to be arriving. And it's the King of Cups. That's who's coming off the ship. So in part, it's what you want to evolve into. You are tired of the situation you've been chained to, like a dragon, Spirit says. And if you're dealing with somebody in your life who's going through these changes, A... Have appropriate boundaries. If someone reaches out and says, I want assistance, I want support, then you have to go get your own assistance and support to find out what is an appropriate way to engage with that request. And it's okay to say, it's not time for that. I honor that you're doing it. Um, sometimes people have to walk alone into these things, into the wilderness of their life to find out what the lack of clarity is how to bring that magic forward, and how to reveal what needs to come for themselves, into them, the, their own selves, Spirit says, in order to have this joy coming forward. Because to see the progression here, that's of course the goal. And I love how Spirit lined them up. Somebody's at a starting point. You're looking forward. You're coming out of your burrow because you want transformation. From lack of clarity into the height of the ability, in a sense, to be able to master your own energy when it comes to love freely given. And I love that the King of Cups looks into the Page of Swords. So powerful new cycle. Powerful new cycle here. And uh, somebody's in therapy trying to get clarity about love. That's what, part of what's going on. Because this is what they want. And they can't figure out why they can't get there. They're putting their anxiety down. Now, this Nine of Swords reversed. I love that these two are, Sphere says they're appended together. You know, the Nine of Swords, in a sense, that energy, uh, that rotation, Sphere says, that will end when you go get your own therapy and, and you'll be able to come into a place of clarity and say, look, this is what I want. This is how I feel. I don't really have clarity. I love that the page of swords looks into the king the king of cup they're working together so you know spirit says good for you keep going you're doing great and page of cups reversed in this way you become the king of love when you know that it is not your moment you don't have anything to offer you just don't or nobody's offering anything to you and you're sitting by yourself going what's the problem here what is it? And it's bringing you uh, this rotation where you're trying to end the uh, anxiety and the sleepless nights and the being alone at night. So put your faith in the full moon that's coming in Libra. Don't worry about this page of cups. You're not done with this cycle yet. You become the king when you own your difficulties because you begin to love yourself. And it's not the time to love anybody else or to offer anybody anything because you're not ready, are you? You're not able. And it's a hard pill to swallow. It's, what's that saying? Jagged pill? It's a jagged pill to swallow. So, you know, here where the transformation is, it's a little bit of a roadmap, Spirit says. You need to know what your goal is. And then you start at the beginning. And you are going to have some reversals. You know what the first reversal is? It's the way forward. You've got to come into the temple and understand how and why things are upside down. I love that this is here like that. And you got to go to the spirit guides. And you got to figure out how to turn this right side up. Because whatever it is that you've been building, you've been doing it the wrong way. So I'm going to try this, see if that works. So, you know, if you're here and you're somebody who needs, nah, it's not working. <laughs> if you need healing, take heart. Take heart. Okay, Spirit's now giving me words from like uh, all of the, all of, they're saying all of the A's, A, A, and N, A, and S, A, and all that stuff, right? The first step is acknowledging that you have a problem. You know what, I'm sorry, I'm going to move this back. 
I don't the wrong way. There we go. Apologies. So, you know, lack of clarity stimulates your kingdom, your internal kingdom. That's why Spirit was calling this person the king. To look into a beginning point to get new clarity so that this can turn around. Because you want to stand in the temple, don't you? We all do. So I love this. You see all this, the hidden things here in this row in the bottom? If you look at this reading on the diagonal, you will see another story. So there's the moon tra uh, transversing, Spirit says, through the king. In order to reach this, secrets have to come out. And it's the secrets you keep from yourself, dear ones, Spirit saying. Stop keeping secrets from yourself. Own yourself and start to take the steps that you need to take in uh, with fidelity, my spirit is saying. You know, basically, make a pledge to your own internal wild woman that, all right, something's got to change. I don't know how to do it. I don't. I'm going to get some advice so these secrets can come out and I can stand in the mystical realm. That's part of the moon card, the feminine portal coming through, and I'm surprised the high priestess isn't here. So if we look from this corner, where there's the temple, Spirit's talking about the high priestess, there's the temple, reversed. And again, the energy rising through the king of cups, that's you in the center, toward a new beginning point. So understand the crisscross of the message. Let's, t let's pick from the bag of runes again today. Spirit says, this is your pathway to joy. If you're someone who's healing, or, as Spirit says, if someone broke up with you and told you a message like this, that's a loving thing, and it's time to work on your own challenges, your own growth. And Spirit, give us one more room, please, for this message. It started with Weasel. What is, how is it that Weasel is transforming dragon-like energy? into the wild woman. I love that they look at each other. I love it. You know, Weasel, if you're if you're identifying with Weasel, you and you've been wounded in a way that affects your ability to love or be in love relationships in a healthy way. You do have to go into the wilds of your own self. The only one that can heal you is you. And there's a lot of love available to you. You want to break free. That's this message. You just want to break free of this. Okay. So let's see what that. Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's about. That's radio. Let me just read it. I'm going to put it right here. Thank you, Spirit. Get my little glasses out. So as we go along, it's it's a journey, right? So that is the Rune for Journey, page 131, in case you have the book. And look, the book opened right to it. So this rune is concerned with communication, with the attunement of something that has two sides. Fascinating. Thank you, Spirit. Really fascinating. And here's the two sides, right? There's this, lack of clarity, and then there's this, desire. Inside each one of us, there are things that need to be healed, and there is a wild woman or a wild man that exists and wants to be free. So something that has two elements, with the ultimate union that comes at the end of this journey, when what is above and what is below are united and are finally of one mind, your inner worth mounts, and at such a time, you are not intended to rely entirely upon your own power. So Spirit was saying, go get some therapy. Instead, ask what constitutes right action. Ask through prayer or meditation, and through addressing the witness self, the teacher within. Once you are clear, you can neutralize your refusal to let right action flow through you, and you can move toward the dragonfly experience. Do not be intent on movement. Be content to wait. And while you wait, keep on removing resistances and spirit saying dysfunctions. As these obstructions give way, all remorse arising from trying to make things happen, which is weasel medicine, disappears. The journey is towards self-healing, self-change, and union with loved ones and with the divine. You are concerned here with nothing less than unobstructed, perfect union. And we just see that when the transformation comes. Love it. The union, but the union of heaven and earth can't be forced. You first must regulate excesses in your own life. 
Material advantages must not weigh heavily on this journey of the self toward the self. Stand apart even from like-minded individuals. The notion of strength in numbers does not apply at such a time. For this part of the journey, the soul's journey into healing cannot be shared. This is one of the cycle runes. And radio carries within its form the rune for joy. Look, oh, woo, baby. Spirit, thank you. My guides are just so awesome. Look at that. Look, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. So the end is in sight. You are no longer burdened by what you have left behind. Heaven above you and earth below you unite within to support you on your way. A simple prayer for the soul's journey. I will to will thy will. This is a prayer of intention and it is proper on any occasion, particularly appropriate as a preamble to healing. Thank you, Spirit. Oh my God, I love my guides so much. So, you know, if you're out there and you're trying to heal and you've identified some things, if you're talking about addiction, that's why they were talking about, you know, AA and NA and all that stuff. Please love yourself. Understand the terrific act of bravery that you perform when you identify that you need self-change and you begin to take on your wild woman nature in order to transform yourself to become available to your birthright, which is to be healthy and happy and whole and loved. So, boy, I could ramble on. I've done enough rambling, I think, today. But thank you for being here, picking up this message. And Spirit saying, share this message with anybody that you love in your life, that the energy is available now. And the full moon is a perfect time to take the step to bring forward your intention and your dedication. Spirit saying the word commitment. Your commitment to yourself to go out into the wilderness, like we're talking about the hermit now, the wilderness of your own life story. Thanks, everyone. I really sending you my love. Anyone who needs healing, I totally understand. Been there, done that. I am a big proponent of all kinds of healing. particularly energy medicine. If you have any questions about that, I'd be happy to answer them. So put some comments on the thread. Please uh, utilize the like button. Say thank you to me by hitting the like button. It helps my channel, and I really appreciate it. So, again, hugs and love coming through this electronic means to all of you out there. Have a wonderful day. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.